Hello, my name is Eka Karunyadini. I will explain about the drop. Drop is the most complex hydrological phenomenon, embodiment related issues, land use, and air use norms. Drop is divided into two, namely natural and anthropogenic drop. Natural drop occurs due to below normal rainfall, lack of surface air supply and groundwater, and lack of airborne soil content. Anthropogenic drop is a drop caused by defeat to the rulers. In other words, this drop is caused by human activity inside. The phenomenon of drop often also occurs due to crawling disasters because the air wall of land is not like food, landslides, and earthquakes, so it is very easy to ignore. Drop cannot be published at the beginning and end of this disaster, or will be released in the middle of the period. The change of land use makes the amount of forest and vast algae cultural land converted into residential land. Lack of trees and algae cultural land results in increased surface runoff. This increase causes whether the soil be accumulated into the ground to be carried by surface runoff, resulting in a shortage of surface and groundwater supplies. The impact is when the dry season comes, water reservoirs are very difficult to obtain. One of causes of drought is the norm is water usage. Waste in water use, especially in households, has a fatal impact of the future. The amount of water waste in vain causes water reservoirs to face the dry season will decrease. Like with the excess use of water during the growing season on agricultural land causes a decrease in the amount of water in a dry season. There are three ways to prevent drop. One, every coming drop with reservoirs. When the dry season arrives, a lot of water source are experiencing drop. For example, reservoirs. Therefore, it is very important to overcome drop by preventing siltation of reservoirs. Because if it has siltation, the water capacity in the reservoir will decrease. Therefore, the way to overcome this problem is by dragging the reservoir. So. It is deeper so that the reservoir can hold more water to overcoming drop with greening. Reforestation is a simple way to deal with drop during to dry season. Reforestation would be best done upstream area fault by reducing land conversion in the upstream area. Land conversion can reduce the ability of land to absorb rainwater. Reforestation will be useful to reduce sedimentation so that reservoir siltation will not occur. 3. Overcoming drop with dam. Dams or reservoirs of rainwater can be a way to induce drop during the dry season. The reservoir is intended to provide water during long droughts. Embung can help to irrigate dry plants, so the plants don't need to do to lack of water. Okay, that's all the explanation from me, and thank you for your attention. I have a word motivation. The universe doesn't just tell you stories. If you are disappointed, remember that God has the best scenario for you.